Welcome to Loop, the Louisiana offshore oil port. Loop is a major link in the vast energy supply chain that serves the United States. The largest facility of its kind, Loop receives, stores, and then distributes crude oil. The crude oil transported through Loop goes to domestic refineries, which in turn produce petroleum products used every day. Products that fuel our cars, trucks, airplanes, heat our homes, and run our global industries. It also shows up in the products that surround us in our everyday lives. To accomplish its mission, Loop operates the nation's only deep water port and the nation's largest private storage facilities for distribution of crude. The crude oil that passes through Loop comes from super tankers carrying foreign supplies from around the world and tankers carrying U.S. production. Deep water oil production from the Mars and Thunder Horse streams in the Gulf of Mexico and the Zydeco pipeline system delivering domestic crudes from the Texas market. Since Loop opened its doors in 1981, it has safely received, stored and delivered more than 12 billion barrels of crude to U.S. refineries. Most of the oil coming to Loop arrives in oil tankers. Tankers travel to Loop from North America, the Arabian Gulf, and other parts of the world. Loop is the only offshore facility in the nation where these super tankers can directly offload their cargoes of crude oil. Some of the tankers visiting Loop are over 1,200 feet long, longer than the Empire State Building is tall, with halls that draw 85 feet of water, the equal of a seven-story building underwater. Located in the Gulf of Mexico, some 18 miles from land, the Loop Marine Terminal stands in 110 feet of water, a depth sufficient to accommodate these deep draft ships. Ships offloading at Loop are anchored at one of Loop's three single point moorings. Loop's oil movement controllers, in close communication with the ship, initiate the offloading of the vessel's cargo using sophisticated hoses attached to the ship's manifold. The crude oil then flows to a 56 inch diameter pipeline located under the sea floor. When the crude oil reaches the Loop Marine Terminal pumping platform, four 7,000 horsepower pumps go into action. They boost the stream of crude oil into an underground pipeline. The 48-inch diameter pipeline carries the crude toward land at rates of up to 100,000 barrels per hour. When the oil leaves the platform, it moves 18 miles to Fushan, Louisiana. There, a series of pumps provides the pressure needed to move the oil 23 miles further inland to Loop's Cloverly Hub in Cloverly, Louisiana. Upon arrival at the Cloverly Hub, all crude oil is measured and segregated by grade into Loop's unique storage system. The system of underground caverns and above-ground tanks allows Loop to efficiently handle large volumes of crude oil. Most of the crude oil is stored in large underground caverns located a third of a mile below the Earth's surface. Loop's underground storage system uses cylindrically shaped vertical caverns that were created in a vast natural underground salt dome. Loop operates eight man-made caverns with a total storage capacity of more than 60 million barrels. The caverns are always full with either crude oil or brine or a combination of both. Because the density of brine is greater than crude oil, the oil lays on top of the brine while it is in the cavern. The heavier brine acts like a piston in a cylinder, moving the crude oil up and down depending upon the volume of crude oil in the cavern. Each cavern has five crude lines entering the top of the cavern. Brine lines inside the four corner crude lines extend down to the bottom of the cavern. As oil is pumped into a cavern, it displaces the brine into a storage reservoir. When a new delivery of oil is set, the brine will be used again to displace the crude oil stored in the caverns. As brine is pumped into the cavern, it displaces the crude oil into one of three delivery pipelines. While salt dome storage is not an unfamiliar technology, Loop's Cloverly Hub Salt Dome facility is the only repository in the U.S. that is continuously receiving and distributing crude oil. 
Not only does Loop store crude oil in underground caverns, it offers customers the option of storing additional grades of crude oil in above-ground storage tanks. Loop owns and operates a large modern tank facility at Cloverly. Each storage tank has a floating roof and an efficient drain-dry bottom to provide flexibility when utilizing the tanks. Loop has 15 identical tanks that are 50 feet tall and a football field in width that can hold up to 600,000 barrels of oil in each tank. Loop is also constructing additional tanks that are sized to accommodate the wide variety of domestic receipts at the Cloverly Hub. Loop's tank facility has dedicated metering for custody measurement, transfers of ownership between tanks. This also allows Loop to custom blend crude oil for its customers. From the Cloverly Hub, Loop can distribute crude supplies to refiners via pipelines. The refineries being served make up more than half of the nation's refining capacity. Two pipelines service refineries and terminals in Louisiana. A third pipeline, called LOCAP, sends a large volume of crude oil to St. James, Louisiana, where it connects to CAP Line. This allows oil that originates at Loop to be transported to refineries in the Midwest. LOCAP, which is operated by Loop, maintains eight storage tanks to support the Mississippi River Refinery Complex. In addition to receiving foreign and domestic crude oil from ships, Loop stores and distributes significant volumes of domestic crude oil being produced in the Gulf of Mexico. Loop receives oil from two of the largest oil fields operating in the Deepwater Gulf. The Mars and Thunder Horse fields are located more than 100 miles from land in the ultra-deep waters in the Gulf of Mexico. These production facilities send a continuous stream of crude oil to Loop via offshore pipeline systems. Since 2014, Loop has received domestic production from Texas and additional Gulf of Mexico production via the Zydeco pipeline. Loop operates in a vibrant marine environment that boasts a wealth of natural resources. Loop's employees and contractors are committed to protecting the rich animal and plant life that are integral to South Louisiana and the Mississippi Delta. Because we operate in a sensitive environment, Loop utilizes an advanced line surveillance system to monitor pipeline integrity 24 hours a day. Regular pipeline maintenance and inspections are conducted as well. This is done to meet or exceed regulatory requirements and to ensure Loop is a dependable source for handling customers' crude oil. In its many years of operation, Loop has reliably delivered billions of barrels of crude oil to U.S. refineries without experiencing a significant incident or spill. Loop operates a fleet of modern vessels that patrol the port area to support marine operations. The largest of these ships is the Loop Responder, which can assist a supertanker if it loses power or steering while navigating in Loop's safety zone. To sustain its successful operations record and guard against damage to the environment, Loop has a wide array of oil recovery and remediation equipment available to handle accidents and respond to oil spillage situations. In recent years, Loop installed a highly sophisticated security system to protect its infrastructure from potential risks. Our offshore platforms, pipelines, and storage facilities are under constant surveillance and are monitored by staff at a state-of-the-art command center. Since Loop is an integral piece of energy infrastructure for the nation, we keep in close coordination with state, local, and federal officials Regular security reviews and drills are conducted with agencies at all levels. This includes nautical drills by anti-terrorist teams from federal agencies. Loop is an important part of the value chain between oil producers and the refiners who provide petroleum products to us. Whether offloading crude oil from supertankers or storing crude oil from the Gulf of Mexico, Loop is continually working to safely and efficiently bring petroleum resources to meet the nation's energy needs.